This is called brain death. Brain death does have another name in the medical community, death. Someone in a vegetative state or a coma is still considered alive, but brain death is irreversible. So doctors go through a series of tests known as the brain death examination before officially determining that person is in fact brain dead. These tests look for any brain function, even the most basic brainstem reflexes. If the patient fails them, they are considered legally dead. Sure, they can have the semblance of life thanks to life support, which in this context is kind of an ironic name, but a brain dead person cannot live long without assistance. Pacemaker cells in a person's heart can continue to function independent of the brain for up to a week, meaning that blood can keep pumping. But the brainstem is responsible for keeping breathing going. Even when you're not thinking about it, your brain is regulating your breathing, though I guess you're probably all thinking about it now. Complete cessation of neural activity means even that basic function of operating the lungs stops. Within minutes, CO2 levels in the blood will be fatal. A person in a coma would reflexively gasp for air, but a brain-dead person would not. The brain regulates a host of other functions unconsciously too, like body temperature and blood pressure. And it is in charge of hormones that control your metabolism, immune system, and specific organs like your kidneys. Keeping a person's body going after brain death requires a ventilator, blankets, and hormones. That's a lot of outside effort to handle the most basic work of the meatball between your ears. It makes you appreciate everything that that little guy is up to. Thanks, brain. Your brain is pretty vital for that whole staying alive thing, so how much of it can you lose and still not die? Julian covers just how much of your brain is expendable here. If you have more brain to work with, losing parts of it aren't as severe because of the brain's ability to rewire itself. People have lived mostly normal lives with large bits of brain totally absent. Like a woman in China who was born without a cerebellum, the little cauliflower looking bit at the back of your brain that controls voluntary movement. What else would you like to know about the brain? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you get more DNews. You guys want to see my troll face? <laughs> uh, problem? Problem? Yeah, there is a fucking problem. It's a disease in your head. Uh, CPR! CPR! Medic! Medic! 